has his, his, his hand on, on the pulse of, of new things. We know that, right? Revelation 21, five, behold, I'm making all things new. And so we're excited about that. One of the things before we close this interview, and I really do appreciate your time and the kind words that you share about Waterline Church and Danielle and I, we really do appreciate that. But I know you're going to want to uh, use this last few moments just to share about Bryce and Nellie. Uh, they are on our production team here at Waterline. They're some of our key leaders here at Waterline. And Actually, I no, 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 John. They're leaving because they're coming to our church. Hey, that'd be awesome. That'd they be are awesome. so good. I'm telling you. They are awesome. Yes, they are definitely jewels in the king's crown. And they just have a heart and a passion to reach lost people for Jesus. They play in multiple leadership roles here at Waterline. But on Easter Sunday, rather than being with their family and their friends at their home church, they gave up that entire morning and went to Muncie uh, just to be a part of and what you're doing up there. What did that mean for you to have uh, these lay leaders who uh, are invested in their local church, but to leave on such a, you know, on Easter Sunday and to come and join you? What did that say to you as a congregation, but you and Kim as well? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it meant the world. And um, to be able to have um, a preview service with excellence and quality, um, they gave that. And, and you guys do that week after week. You're, you're committed to that. Um, and, uh, but, but perhaps what really spoke to my heart most um, about Bryce and Nellie, and um, this, is even, this has been even our experience every time we've been at a service, um, they went beyond and above what we asked them to do. So case in point, I mean, it took probably six hours on Saturday to set up. So we're not even talking Sunday yet. We haven't even gotten to Sunday. But it probably took six hours um, of just setting up all the lights and sound and, and cords and equipment and computers and that sort of thing. And then on Sunday, I mean, as you can imagine, I mean, you're tired. You've, 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 you've spent countless hours in prayer and planning and preparation. Um, but at the very end, there were some very heavy platforms that were provided for us um, by the fairgrounds. And um, trust me, you only want to move these suckers once. <laughs> they're just, they're a beast. And um, they, they had finished packing up their trailer. They had locked up. They were ready to go. Um, they were ready just to go home and be with family. Uh, but they turned around and, and they saw that this piece wasn't yet done. We just had to move them from one end of the room to the other. And both Nellie um, and Bryce came and gave a hand and picked wow. these things up and move them to the other end so that the forklift could come and, and take them out on, on Monday. And that just blessed me because, you know, in a sense, what we asked them to do and, and, and for help of the day, they were done. Um, but they went above and beyond. And that just showed their heart and compassion for what we are doing, for what you guys do on a weekly basis. And um, the cool thing was, is that heart was seen in our very first preview service from start to finish behind the scenes and um, uh, oh my land was was the kingdom of God so richly blessed